So tomorrow we um, yes. we're going ashore to do an excursion um, hole in the rock, and um, we have to tender in, and they say it's a 30-minute tender ride to the to the dock, and then uh, get on a boat, which then heads back out past the boat. So we just arrived in the uh, Bay of Islands and that's the settlement straight ahead if we can see it and we dropped one of the tender boats and we're about to drop the other couple and it's very shallow here you can see uh, they've reversed the propellers and we're stirring up the dirt from the bottom of the water so that is why we can't go in very shallow and there's the around so we're um, in the queue to get onto a tender So we're heading over to the bay. Oh, here. Banging into the ship. So we're three quarters full, so we'll head off shortly. I'm the only uh, singing bus driver here, so I'm going to sing you a golden song uh, to welcome you to the Bay of Islands. Uh, All right, okay, let's hit the road before the news. Pub, there's one more pub down in the town, so you're all right there, mate. Yeah, you can wait in there and I can drag you out of later on. Come and get me later. Enjoy yourselves, mate. Thank you. Enjoy yourselves. Toilets at the end of the building. Do you want to, um, do you want to find a hat? Yeah, do you want to go over to the market or do you want to go in the shops there? We'll go in the markets and find a hat. Village markets. Cool bars. Hats over there. 
Sorry, Morgan, you do it to me for four minutes. Mine won't turn on. Wow, look at this artwork. Look at this. Wow. Wait. They're awesome, aren't they? Handcrafted leather hats. Yeah. Wow. 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 Look at that. Hundred hundred. But I have so many um three hundred. Very much they tell for him. Put the other one back for eighty five. Guest store might have caps. So traffic lights here. This is your instructions was to whether to walk or not. There is nothing over there. Right? So to push it, it says wait. And the traffic lights have changed now. Just go. It's doing that bit, 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 bit for deaf people. Has that tactile thing. Uh, probably souvenirs, gelato. Um, there's a fridge at the back. Yeah, let's find a seat and put some suntan cream on. Yeah, I told you you should have got a cream hat. So what's the name of this town? Uh, I have no idea. You got the map? Yeah. In my pocket. Do you want any more? Uh, one more. We think this town is called Paihia in the Bay of Islands. P-A-I-H-I-A. Paihia. And look at what we bought. <laughs> you can't, it's a childproof, isn't it? It's childproof, I can't open it. Oh, come on. Just had you open. It says you have had enough of fudge. <laughs> You've had enough fudge for the day. You're not allowed to have any more. <laughs> So it's Tracy proof, the container. Exactly. It's ridiculous. It's actually hurting my hair. So we found a little four square supermarket. And Tracy's hanging out for some chips. Oh, and I don't eat chips normally. But I've been seasick on the ship and I think that I just need a bit of salt in my body. So someone was going to take them back to the ship but I'm eating them now. Because <laughs> they're, they're really yummy. Here are Heartland Sour Cream and Chives. Mm. Mm, not bad. Mm. Pretty cheap too. Three dollars. Mm. Mm. Was it twenty dollars for a pack of chips on board the ship? Mm. That was American dollars too. And $24 for a packet of M&M's. M&M's, it was, was it $4 here? Mm. Yeah. Disgusting. All right, we've got to probably head, head back to our pickup point for our cruise. I mean our, what is it? Hole in the Rock Tour. Hole in the Rock Tour. Uh, that looks like it's our boat. 
and we have to wait for this uh, tender to empty disgorge it's uh, 150 people and then we can board So we're on board our boat. Yes. We're upstairs. We're going to get wind blown. Yes. Tracy's afraid of losing her hat. But I'm going to put this camera away and get the movie camera out now. Oh yeah. Like this is where we are. So this is. Yeah. That's Watangi and that's Piaia. That's where we went this morning. So I presume we're going to go to this place and then that place. Oh yeah. And then, I don't know if we're going to go over there. And then past all these islands. We might go up inside, I don't know. Around that side. And over to the whole one rock up there. I don't know. It says like seven, like there's six. What would you go back to seven? You wouldn't do maybe that. Maybe it's just a key to Oh, uh, to what? Uh, yeah, maybe. Some fairly decent surges that can 
come upon you while you're diving around here. You get knocked into a sea cave and can't get out. Not a good day. Not a good day. So if you're a bit of a diver, definitely worth coming and having a look. We definitely come with someone that knows the area and is experienced. So if you're unsteady on your feet, find a seat before the boat finds one for you. It's a lot more comfortable that way. More than welcome to stay out on the bounce. Quite fun out there. All right, guys, keep your eyes peeled. Find us some dolphins. Go find something else. So, my favourite beach in the whole of the Bay of Islands, straight ahead of us. Now, you're going to see prettier beaches around the bay. It's not the uh, aesthetics that make this place my favourite. Now, I'm going to tell you a story about this place, but before we do, we better know the name of the island. Straight ahead of us, Motu Larua. There's always been a village here. Now, if you're interested on your cruise map, we're island number eight. That's where we are. So we've always known there to be a little village. It wasn't until 1981 that they did a little bit of an archaeological dig on the site, though. Found a few things, and then uh, it was a very small dig, very explorative, but not, not comprehensive at all. They found a uh, Moabone fish hook, among, among others, and then they sort of shut the dig down. It wasn't until 2018 that another archaeologist looked at the findings, said, hang on a second, he found a Moa bone fish hook. Moa went extinct fairly early on in Māori occupation, maybe the first two or three hundred years. So this could be a fairly new site, a fairly early site, I should say, and def definitely uh, worth a second look. Let's spin the boat around, guys, make sure everyone's getting a good view of this little place, a very important little place. Now, uh, 2018 they did start that dig up again, they've mapped out the whole place. Where they were cooking, where they were growing their food, where they are eating their food, sleeping, even when they were, where they were keeping their dogs. Alrighty guys. And they found some other stuff, some really fun stuff. They found uh, fish hooks, they found lures, shell lures. But when they found a mother of pearl necklace, they got really excited. The reason being, mother of pearl does not grow in New Zealand waters, we're far too cold. Alright guys, so they knew that that pendant, that, that uh, necklace, had been brought with them from Hawaii. Now... Alrighty then, well we've brought you over there to what is known as the Okapu Passage. Uh, it is named after the island on our left hand side, Okapu, which is number 13 on your cruise map. Now, Okahu, the island itself doesn't have a lot to it. The only beach you can see there on the um, front left hand side, little rocky beach. But what this island does have an abundance of is harekeke or flax, which is a long, glossy leaf plant. It was used by the early Māori for weaving of their baskets, their mats, their clothing. The most important thing was their tota or their rope. Now, their rope was so strong, in fact, that when early mariners first arrived, um, to New Zealand. It was a lot stronger than their own <laughs> and it ended up becoming the first commodity or export out of the country when we shipped to Sydney, Australia and turned into rope and twine. Now this beautiful island we have here on our right hand side, Wai Wai Toria, number 12 on your cruise map. Wai Wai, many of the footprints of the Toria bird, the beautiful western cat. It's a little black bird with a long orange beak and long orange legs. Locals, um, they didn't share Walbur's vision. Every time he went to apply for consent to the local council, uh, he was actually denied. After numerous attempts of trying to fulfill his dream, he did what we call throwing his toys out of the cot and ended up selling this island back to the New Zealand government. We really thank Walbur because it was from that day forward that the New Zealand government realised how easily Walbur's dream could have been accomplished. And it was from that day thought that they actually turned all of our large islands in the eastern extremity under a marine historic park. So right now you are back trimming through a marine historic park. 
function of pure Now, on some days, it can be great, on some days it can be rough. It is all open ocean. If we carry on in that direction, we'll end up in Tonga. We're not going that far, unfortunately. We don't have enough gas on board. <laughs> but as we do head out of this passageway, folks, um, you can start to see a little bit more wind on the water and a little bit more swell. So if you are on those outer decks, please be mindful that we generate, generate quite a bit of wind because it can mean that we can get a bit of steam spray at times. So just be mindful of your expensive cameras and things. And if you are unsteady on your feet, may we suggest that you find the plastic that you just think that you're about to find some for you. Halfway up the rock, they don't have that rock on a bit of a plateau there. And we have a couple of birds here. There's two. Yeah, it's going up on the top. Alexander 
one of the previous owners actually gifted this central part back to the public. So this is actually public land. You can more than welcome to land your boat, go for a picnic on that beach, and uh, wander the hill to our left-hand side. Each end of the island there is a private portion for the, the main part in the centre here, available to you by everybody. Just about back on shore. What do you think? Well, it was really good. Really, it was a bit rough. A bit rough there. out of the hole in the wall. Yeah. Uh, I got a bit green under the gills. <laughs> I didn't, which was surprising. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. I just didn't. It, it was just the. It was the way he was going. You know, sitting there saying, you know, look at the thing on the rock. Look at the rock right. Over. The boat was going. Whoa. whoa. I know, but it the didn't swell. make me feel sick. The swell was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. But it, was, it was worth it. Yeah, yeah. it was. I'm glad he actually went through it. I know, but that was exciting, wasn't it? I was like, oh no. And then all of a sudden he took off and went straight yeah, through says, the hole. He says, you can't go through today. It's a bit rough. Yeah. And then he goes, oh, oh, a oh, oh, boom, I feel yeah. it. <laughs> bit of a pause between the swells. Yeah, no, it was really good. But, uh, it's a big, big bay, isn't it? Yeah. Lots of oh. islands. Lots and lots of islands, yeah. Lots of interesting history. Yeah, it was really, really good. The, um, the driver. The captain. Yeah, whatever. told us lots of lies. Yeah, <laughs> it was quite funny actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. his was wife really is a princess. Yeah, which made him a prince, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but the only nice. reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was really good, yeah. so this uh, Bay of Islands. So yeah. um, we're off to somewhere else tomorrow. Are we? So we're having a day off tomorrow. Yeah, no, another harbour, but we've got no tours organised. Oh, right, yeah. Let's cool. do our own thing. the queue to get back on. <laughs> it's way back to the surf to the boating club. Thank you, thank you, excellent. Thank you, great trip. Key card in your hand, please, for security man. Lovely, thank you. Welcome back, guys. Watch this, please. Where do you want to go? Doesn't matter. 